one facet of the stretch therapy system we call roll stretch, which is using various objects, like a ball, this is a hard ball, to try and soften tissues. It's a very effective complementary si technique um, that we use in addition to our stretching techniques. Many people hold a lot of tension, unnecessary tension in their jaw, in their neck region, and I am one of those people. So I am gonna show you a sideline technique to use a ball to press into this area here, all along the jawline, right up around the base of the ear, and this band of muscle, sternocleidomastoid, through the side of the neck here. You can also potentially get into the deeper front neck muscles, the scalenes, just generally this quadrant. Doing it in a side-lying position allows you to relax effectively. So let's do it. Come down into a side-lying position. Make sure you're completely comfortable. And the ball, initially, I'm going to place right around here. We'll be repositioning the ball and we'll be adding some small head and neck movements to have the ball press into different tissues. So the ball is on the top of the arm, deltoid bicep around that area and it's pressing into that part of the neck. You can hold on to it initially as you get settled so you're not worried that the ball's going to escape, but you'll find that you'll find a position where you can take that hand out and use that as a stabilizing hand. Your first task is to simply relax and let the ball go in. You don't want to feel like it's being pushed in like you're trying to brutalize yourself it's all about allowing the thing this in this case a ball to press into those tissues relax so where i have the ball it's pressing into right at the top border of my jaw if i do tiny movements of my head towards the floor now it's pressing into other parts of the upper jaw much more sensitive parts for me today as I turn even more to look towards the floor, different part of the jaw gets affected. Breathe and relax. Let your whole body sink towards the floor and then the ball will go in more and more and more. If I now do a tiny chin to chest type movement, the ball is now moved up more towards the base of my ear. Do some tiny movements of the head and neck move the tissues around, little circles, any movements, play around, find what works for you. Then I'm gonna lift away and move the ball just a little bit higher to get into some of those points right at the base of my ear. Very sensitive. If I now rotate and look a little bit more up towards the corner of the roof there, it's getting into different parts little head nodding movement presses in and now I'm going to come and reposition the ball a long way further up towards the top of my shoulder and this is where it's getting into that big sternocleidomastoid part which on me is very sensitive and the more I turn and look up towards the ceiling the stronger that effect is again if you wanted a stronger effect yet again, this back leg, the top leg, if I put it on the floor and use it to drive me onto the ball, that's even stronger. And now as long as I feel stable, if I do whole shoulder rocking forwards and backwards, that moves where the ball is pressing into. Wow, that is strong. If you want to get more into the scalenes, move the ball a little bit more towards the front here, really tuck it in there. You might have to hold it because now what you're going to do is roll back a little bit and bring the chin towards the chest and lie down as much as you can. And now the ball's pressing into these parts in here. I've shown you a few different positions and moved through them quite quickly. What I find most effective is to find two or three spots and just stay there. Relax, breathe, relax more.
to come out, lift up, bring the ball up. If you hold a lot of tension in your neck and your jaw, this is a really good technique in its own right, but it's also a good um, preparation for all of the neck stretches in the stretch therapy system. Enjoy.